Coming up next, girls high school basketball on your sports leader in Lorraine, WLCS TV 20. Good evening. Welcome to Lorraine High. That was the jump ball between. That's an over and back call on the Lutheran East the Longhorns. The ladies from Lutheran East taking on the ladies from Lorraine. Lorraine 10 and 7 on the season, 6 and 3 in the conference. But one of those three was a loss to Lutheran East at Lutheran East, 63-52 back in January. Number three is Nay Bohannon, 14, Imani Thomas on the pick and roll. Ball knocked away. Also out there for the Titans, 22 is Mackenzie Barraclo. Number 12, Nicole Ortiz. And number 23 is Micaiah Herman. Inbound to Herman. She'll handle the ball. Knocked away. She picked it up back to Barraclo. We'll get the uh, Lutheran East lineup. That's Bohannon front rims a three. Herman with the rebound back to Bohannon and they'll start again. Number 10, Hend Aliyah Henderson is guarding Bohannon. Also on the floor, one, Dariah Kirksey, two, Kara Bell, four, Jasmine Johnson. As that one goes up, no, tipped out by Barraclo. Recovered by the Titans, Thomas, and then back into Herman. Thomas, up and in. Third chance, nice job by Amani Thomas, tipping the rebound out, and then getting back in position. Four is Johnson for Lutheran East, 10, Henderson. Down in the corner, two is Bell. She throws three around and out. Knocked away from Tyra Eppinger, 21, by Herman. It'll be out of bounds to Lutheran East. We've played a minute nine seconds. It's two to nothing, Lorraine. Lorraine sets up in the zone out of bounds. Good coverage. They'll throw three again for Henderson off the glass. No. Bohannon with a nice one handed rebound controls it. And back come the Titans. Man to man for Lutheran East. Barrick Lowe. with the left hand in the corner off Ortiz and out of bounds. Eppinger got a finger on it and it was knocked away and out of bounds. So it'll go to Lutheran East as it was off Ortiz last. A little time for a wiping of the winter dribbles. And Johnson gets it in. She and Henderson bring it up against the trap. Johnson into the front court against Herman. Back to Henderson, and she'll back it out against Herman. There's a ball screen from Eppinger into the lane, running one-hander up and in. Alaya Henderson with two, and we're tight. Bohannon on the run, up, no, rebound. She was at standing. Let's see, that was Johnson from Lutheran East, she was out of bounds when she tipped the ball back toward a teammate. So Bohannon inbound, 5.59 to go. Barrick low from the elbow, swish. McKenzie with two, and it's 4-2 Lorraine. There's the 1-2-2 two, two look from the Titans. Two guards to attack it, knocked away by Barrick low and out of bounds. Titans with a lack of size that is very evident tonight. Size not listed on the Lutheran East roster, but they look bigger at almost every position. That was Bell into Johnson. Johnson lays up in, but she traveled. So the basket won't count. So Jay, you said uh, Lorraine has three conference losses, correct? Two to yeah. Cleveland Heights. Yeah, and this Who is the, the only champs. right. Yeah, so and this is the only one they've lost other than uh, right. the Heights. So yeah. this is oh oh no layup up and in. Oh boy, Eppinger. I'm not sure what happened there. Now Bohannon one hands it ahead to Barraclow. We're tied at four. Barraclow goes into the lane, gets it out to Herman, who fakes a three and travels Traveled. with the basketball. So this this in essence for the Titans is for second place. Right. They would almost be eliminated. I guess they would be eliminated if they lost tonight. And I believe they would be tied with Lutheran East if if they win. Right. Cleveland Heights has locked up the girls' title. 
That's 18-footer up and in, and that's Jasmine Johnson. 6-4, Lutheran East. Lutheran East without a girls or a or freshman or JV team. Barraclo with it. The front court tosses it away. And back comes Henderson all the way in over Bohannon and scores. Henderson's got four, 8-4. Timeout, Coach Feldman. They had a, a JV program at the beginning of the year, but through attrition, they have had to cancel the rest of it. So they have 13 girls grades. Well, they only have one fresh, two freshmen on the roster and two sophomores. So they're a predominantly upper class team. Um, although they only start one senior of the three that are on the roster. There are four, five juniors, three seniors and two freshmen, two sophomores. And without a JV team, this gym was empty. In fact, when I pulled up, I, <laughs> I called Joe and said, hey, is there still a game? <laughs> because the girls had a freshman game. I think that was away, that was, away. that was at 4.30. And when I pulled up, thinking at 6.15, I could get my paperwork done. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> nobody here. <laughs> Herman? There's a foul in the backcourt. A little too aggressive on the one-on-one. -on -one. Alaya Henderson's going to get the first foul of the game, defending Micaiah Herman. Now, one thing you don't want to do against this, well, a couple things, but number one is you don't want to put the ball, stop, pick up your dribble, and then put it over your head. Catch it, turn, and face. Off Ortiz's hands and out of bounds. A little sloppy here early Just on. too much of a hurry. Mm -hmm. Settle down, attack a gap. It's a it's a odd front press, so take it from the sideline to the middle and look opposite. Lay up no, Ortiz rebounds. Bohannon, there's pressure in the backcourt. She's knocked to the, to the ground, and it's... Simply an out of bounds? Yeah, uh, top the Lutheran uh, East player, out of bounds. Okay, and two for the takedown. 8-4 <laughs> Lutheran East. Bohannon as they back up the pressure from the volleyball line. Thomas on the pick and roll out to Barraclow. Barraclow and Bohannon. Now they balance the floor. Barraclow with the high screen. And she steps out, Herman. Eric Lowe from the top of the circle. No, but Bohannon gets the long rebound and throws it up from 15. No, Barrick Lowe went after that, but it's Eppinger now taken away by Thomas. Ortiz throws one uh, rim and oh, in. Yeah. She got the bounce. She got the rim, the glass, the rim, and in. 8 6 Lutheran East. There's a good attack of that gap that we were talking about. This is Henderson in the corner. Kirksey airballs it. Thomas goes after it, throws it in to Herman. She's going to let it clear and then gets it to Barrick low with the left. No. Rebound by Thomas. And that's a nice effort by Amani Thomas. Very nice. Tied at eight. Okay, the ladies aren't shooting the ball really well tonight, but they are working the boards, getting that extra second, third, well, sometimes fourth shot. There's a steal from behind, and Barrick Lowe turns it around to Bohannon. And there's two officials pointing the opposite direction, but the one closest to the play calls it to Lorraine and timeout by Lutheran East. And just as Coach Feldman, I'm sure, was going to talk about the pressure in the backcourt, Lutheran East is going to talk about rebounding the basketball. And so a 30-second timeout as we're tied at 8. Titans are 10-7 and seven on the season, as we said, 6-3 and three in the conference. They have had the girls' tournament draw, which used to be a bunch of voting and meeting and all kinds of subterfuge and deal making. Now it's all done online and then autumn, there's no picking of lines. One plays 16 and two plays 15 and so on. And if there's only 13 as are in Lorraine's, these, those teams get buys. Lorraine with the nine seed playing number eight seed Midview. So it'll be at Midview, the first round game. 
Nay Bohannon, 1-4, look for the Titans. Into the elbow, Nikki Ortiz, back oh, cut nice. there, nicely done. Oh. That was Kiana Jenkins who snuck into the game during the timeout. Also on the court, Brooklyn Ferguson, number four. And then Ortiz threw a passing lane. They fight for it at half court, and it'll go to the Titans off Henderson's leg. So let me get the changes. 15 is Kiana Jenkins, number four, Brooklyn Ferguson. They are both freshmen. Jenkins, Ferguson, Ortiz, back to Ferguson, throws a 15-footer, front rim, no, rebound for Shaw, or for Lutheran East, excuse me, and this is Kirksey, Walden in number three into the game for Lutheran East, that shot up, no, Ortiz has it batted away by Eppinger, he gets it over to Walden. No, Ortiz again. Bohannon going to force the right hand all the way to the hoop. Throws it up. Yeah, she'll be shooting too. I couldn't tell if that was going to be a block or a charge. Foul's going to be on Kirksey. Her first. Bohannon will go to the line scoreless thus far. Tied 8-8. Eight to eight. Talking about that Midview game, Jay, it was originally scheduled for Saturday, uh, but ha that has been moved to um, Monday, the 18th. Okay. I believe it's a 6 p.m. tip-off. Okay. Back rim, side rim, rebound. Another substitution for Lorraine. Danica, Danica Coates, number 42, another freshman into the lineup, replacing Imani Thomas. So the Titans freshmen played earlier, but three of them are playing the varsity game right now. Second shot, no. Rebound, Kirksey. Nice outlet pass, and off comes Lutheran East, but they'll hold up, and Kirksey's going to throw three. Switch. No. And 11-8 on top is Lutheran East. Ortiz in the middle from Bohannon. Spins at the foul line, up under, tosses it over to Ferguson, penetrating with the right hand into the lane. Runs into a herd of Longhorn. And back comes Eppinger. Walden, three ball short. Long rebound, booted around. Coates had a chance, dives for the ball. And it's going to be a jump ball. It'll be the Titans ball. Good effort there by Danica Coates. Bohannon will inbound. I think we're overthinking this. Gets it into Jenkins in the backcourt. A little too far out for the uh, scoring out of bounds play there. Jenkins getting some pressure, takes it to the hoop, throws it to Coates. Eight footer, no. Ortiz taps it away, controls it, but it was out of bounds. Lutheran East with 43 seconds left, and they'll bring Henderson back in, replacing Kirksey. 11-8, they're on top. Titans still in the 1-2-2. Look into the middle is Eppinger. Coates puts her on the ground. Now that's got to that's be a That's a good a travel. Or a timeout. Did they give my timeout? Okay, yep, yeah, that's yeah. the first time I have ever seen that. One of the <laughs> Lutheran East girls called timeout, and the coach said, I, she can't call timeout. He didn't want a second timeout in the first quarter. Right, just for, yeah. But I did because it gives me a chance to tell you about <laughs> Lorraine City's tax amnesty program, which goes from now until the end of March. Um, anybody who has missed their Lorraine City income tax, you can pay the balance without interest or penalty. Uh, you just need to contact the Municipal Income Tax Division, 605 West 4th Street, um, which is the old fire station right there by Veterans Park. 
and they have special amnesty hours in March on the weekends if you need to just walk in and say, hey, I'm here for the amnesty, and they'll know what to do for you. Yeah, you can check it out on the website, too. What's that website, Jay? Cityoflorraine.org, got dot .gov, or, excuse me, double dribble there by Johnson. It's city www.cityoflorraine.org, all one word, City of Lorraine. Bo Hannon, 24 seconds left as the Titans get it up. Coates at one elbow, Ortiz at the other. Lazy pass knocked away. Eppinger ahead. Wide open Henderson. There. She's got six in the quarter. It's 13 to eight. And that was just a little bit of a lazy pass. Bohannon throws one from half court. And the buzzer sounds, and we've played one at Lorraine. Lutheran East, 13. Lorraine, eight. Is your child's sports performance inconsistent? Does she seem to be a few steps behind the soccer ball? Is he swinging early or late at the baseball? An eye coordination problem could be at the root of your child's difficulties. Vision screenings can be misleading because they are not designed to test all of the visual skills necessary for sports performance or for reading and learning. For more information on sports and vision, visit the website for the College of Optometrist and Vision Development at covd.org. In an instant, life can change. Hi, I'm veteran J.R. Martinez. If you've been hurt or disabled due to your service, the last thing you need to do is hurry up and wait for a VA claims decision. Make sure you file an electronic, fully developed claim or e-claim for disability compensation on e-benefits. It's the fastest and easiest way to get a claims decision. Learn more at ebenefits.va.gov. E-claims and e-benefits, online VA claims made simple. Back here at Lorraine High, ready to start second quarter action. And Alea Henderson passes off to Maya Winston, who's trapped and taken away by Bohannon Ferguson. Oh, Euro nice. step up. Oh. No. Everything was good with the footwork. Back comes Winston. That's Ferguson four. 15 Jenkins. Three Bohannon. Coates is 42 and 12 is Nicole Ortiz. Nice entry pass knocked away Titans on the ground Ortiz comes up with it and then tosses it into traffic Jenkins picks it up and she's going to let the dust settle she Good saw the back there. pressure there from Johnson number four now she's going to take it to the foul line up class no rebound on the ground Kirksey controlled it and passed it off this is Henderson down into the middle that's got to be a traveling travel on Johnson Henderson leads everybody with six in the ball game. Monty Thomas has four for Lorraine. Substitute for Lorraine, 24, Tasha Yenos, and she is a freshman. Ferguson and Jenkins in the backcourt, both freshmen. Coates and Yenos in the front court, freshmen. And Ortiz is a senior, number 12, to round out the lineup. Pass off there was just lazy and to the ground, but nice control there. Telegraph Jenkins. too. Jenkins one hands it into traffic and back comes Henderson. Two on one, nicely done to Eppinger. No, rebound to Ferguson and she'll go off to the races. It's two on three. She tries to split them and she's gonna go to the line. Brooklyn Ferguson with a good aggressive move. Foul on number four, Jasmine Johnson. Ferguson to the line for two, yet to score. First one up, back rim, nope. Yeah, Lorraine's been stuck on eight for a while here. Well, and that's three foul shots that have been exactly the same off the back of the rim. Right. Returning for Lorraine, 23, Micaiah Herman replaces Nicole Ortiz. So you got a sophomore and four freshmen, Joe. <laughs> Second shot, good. All right. Maybe that'll break it up. Ferguson with one, 13 to nine. Titans tied it at eight, and then Lutheran East got the last five of the quarter. Four is Johnson. Down low, nice pass there. 
But then back to the foul line, Johnson. I thought she might have double oh. dribbled. Very consistent on the call. That's right, a block yeah. as well. Danica Coates is going to pick up a foul. And Jasmine Johnson is going to go to the line for two throws. I thought she had a chance to get a charge there, but they have been consistent they, they at have. both ends with that. And you can't argue with that. You know what to expect. Front rim, back rim, glass, and good for Johnson. Nice rotation on the second one as well. 15 to nine, Lutheran East. Johnson is a junior. Ah, could see that one coming. Take it oh, away. All the way in. A... Block. Jenkins saved oh, it, geez. but into Kirksey, <laughs> who scored. She's got five. You never want to save the ball on your defensive end, and that's why. Her Herman gets it across into the corner, though. Now centers the ball down low. That was kind of just an icing pad. That looked like a hockey pass. And then Ferguson gets par partial ball and all arm. So Brooklyn's going to pick up a common foul. Well, the range passes tonight are very predictable. Titans with a gaggle at the scorer's table. Thomas. Bohannon, Barraclow, and Ortiz return. Herman stays, so we're back to the starters. 17-9. Lutheran East opening it up to the biggest lead of the game. Very patient and very well schooled there on the press. This is Henderson. One hands it across to Bell, and then outside to Kirksey. No on the three. Barraclow runs it down, but she's trapped. Steps through when a third Longhorn comes in. Falls over one of them, and Lutheran East ends with the ball. Henderson, Eppinger. Titans in the 2-3 zone. Penetrated easily. Knocked away, and then Eppinger gets it back. Up and good. Tyra, Tyra Eppinger with four, and it's 19-9. Danger zone here, Jay. Titans haven't had a basket in about six minutes. Ortiz takes it in, fouled. And go back to the line. That hasn't been the kindest spot for Lorraine either, one of four. Number four, Johnson with the foul, her second. Nikki Ortiz, first one wide right. Substitutions. Jersey Beard, double zero for Lorraine. And number three, Leah Walden for Lutheran East. Second shot, good. Hurricane with three. 19 to 10. Titans still looking for a basket in this quarter. 450 to play. Nicely done against the pressure. Kirksey all the way in off the side of the glass, but gets her own rebound. Three ball, no. Ortiz has the rebound. You know, Joe, you mentioned early in the game that the Titans were really hitting the offensive glass, but now they called the Titans. Right, yep. Lutheran East is hitting the, the glass getting pretty the rebounds. hard. Bohannon yes, crosses over down the lane, lays it oh, off. Nice. Thomas, oh, no. She's got to get it on the glass. Ortiz, mm, yes. Yes. Nicky right. Ortiz with five. Yeah, we needed that. 19 one. to 12, 413 to go in the quarter. Henderson. That's <laughs> Mrs. Hilko at the scorer's table. So it'll go to the Titans with 4.05 to go. The scorekeeper threw the ball across the gym <laughs> as the official stood there with his hands out. Next time he'll know. Herman and Bohannon at half court will get it in. 1-2-2 two, two look for Lutheran East. Near side Ortiz. Up top Thomas. Bohannon down low. Thomas from 10 front rim. Rebound Ortiz up. No. Herman, I don't know how she got it, but hit the side of the glass. She was behind the glass. 
And back comes Henderson. Nope, excuse me, Winston. Near side shot, yes. Three ball by Bell. Kira Bell, Kyra Bell on the board with three. 22-12, lead back to 10. Bohannon asks for a screen, then turns it down. Running one-hander, no. Rebound by... Okay, what had happened was Lutheran East had controlled the rebound, and one of their players, who's already got her hand pretty well bandaged up, hit the deck. I don't know what... Another one of them just tossed something to the bench. She didn't have glasses on, and it wasn't a contact lens. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, 3.08 to go, 22 to 12, Lutheran East. Down in the nice find there, up, layup, good. Leah Walden as the Titans trapped and forgot about the basket. Doubling them up now at 24-12. Bohannon behind the back, back out to Herman. Down the lane, running one-hander up and in. Makaya Herman first two. Coach Feldman wants timeout with 2.44 to go. Yeah, they need to close this uh, second quarter out uh, Right, I mean, strong. this is going to decide whether or not, you know, they're right there as the half begins or, you know, in trouble. The Rain Sports Hall of Fame has their annual steak fry fundraiser Sunday, March 3rd from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Amherst Eagles, 1440 uh, Amherst Eagles, 1161 Milan Avenue. Dinner's $25 per ticket. Steak, baked potato, salad, roll, beverage, dessert. And if you want a ticket, call Lorraine High Athletic Director Brian Corey. Or if you really want a ticket, call Marnie McArdle, Brian's secretary. Or you can contact Bambi Dillon at 989-6539. A good event in the Sports Hall of Fame does an awful lot for oh, they do. the city of Lorraine, Lorraine Schools, and they've got a wonderful area dedicated to them in the building. And I was at that steak fry last year, and let me tell you, it was one of the best steaks I've had in was a it? long, long time yet. Yeah. I'm sure that Tom Bauer was one of the guys on the grill. Yeah, he was. <laughs> And hey, we're talking about Tom here, uh, maybe in the uh, second half, he's been helping me in the studio build some oh. risers. Looking really good there. Oh, cool. Kirksey against the zone. Winston. Titans let her around wow. the trap, and she went all the way around and laid it up and in. Maya Winston. That's not supposed to happen against the zone. 26-14 by 12 now, the biggest lead. Ortiz throws two. Needed that one. With seven now, she leads everybody. Back quickly comes Winston. Ortiz runs through the passing lane. She's going to have a layup up and pops oh. out. Winston gets it back. Ortiz knocks it away. Held ball situation. It'll go to the Titans. She did a great job doing everything right, getting to the right side so she could lay it up softly and it front rimmed away. her and bounced away. Titans ball on the held ball, minute 52 to go. Hermit up top. This is a 1-3-1 zone now. In my mind, the toughest to attack. Jersey Beard says, I'll just shoot three. And no, tapped out. Away from Thomas, Kirksey controls it, had it batted away. On the run, Winston down low to Walden for another two. Leah Walden's had two baskets, both backside layups where there's been nobody near her. Down quick to Thomas, Thomas put it over the head and had it knocked away. Now for you young players, that's what we were talking about. If she takes one, you know, a pivot step and bounces it, Jersey Beard gets a layup. Don't put the ball over your head. It's a position of weakness in basketball. Lutheran East's attack of the baskets looked very organized yes, here tonight. Yes, it is. Bohannon looks to inbound. Tosses it out for Herman. Each team, well, there's been six fouls called in the game. It's not from lack of aggressiveness either. Thomas backdoor, Ortiz throws it up and in. There's the layup she missed before she got it back. Nice pass by Amani Thomas. 
Ortiz has nine, under a minute. So, Kirksey, baseline, loses it out of bounds. Good defense by Herman. Titans down 10, 49 and a half seconds to go. Big possession here, Jay. It sure is. Lutheran East, as it stands now, has the ball coming out. Bohannon gets trapped, puts it over her head. She's going to lose it. <laughs> never pick up your gerbil, never put it above your head. I was going to say, for those of you wondering what, she's, what you've got to do to beat that is you've got to crab dribble backwards out of the trap, and then you've got to get help from a teammate, and she didn't have anybody back there with her. That's, they, they start a lot of things with a one-guard set, and they were already set up. So 27 seconds left. Lutheran East wants three. Long. Nice rebound there by Beard and gives it to Ortiz with under 20. Nikki up the right side. To the foul line. Into the corner. To Herman. Down low to Beard. Back to Ortiz for three. Wide off the side of the rim. Trying to save it, but unsuccessful is Beard with 3.4. Lutheran East will get the ball. They defend a three here. Couple of dribbles and a heave, and that's going to hit the clock. So we've played two here at Lorraine. Lutheran East, 28. Lorraine, 18. Back with the second half action after this timeout. The Warriors to Work program makes it possible for wounded warriors and their families to build new lives together. When my dad left, I was like this big, but I'm like this big. My dad got a master's degree in human resources. Thanks to Warriors to Work, that my dad has a terrific job. The Wounded Warrior Project helps him by, you know, giving him another start. Now that my dad's home, I get a lot more hugs. I'm really proud of him. Find out more about Wounded Warrior Project at findwwp.org. Welcome home, the brave. One of my biggest passions in life is animals. That's why I've worked with Morris Animal Foundation for over 40 years. Morris Animal Foundation is a world leader in helping animals live longer, healthier lives. You can too. Just show your support at morrisanimalfoundation.org. To help cats, dogs, horses, and wildlife live healthier lives, visit morrisanimalfoundation.org, where we are advancing science that will create a healthier tomorrow for animals. Back here at Lorraine High, 28-18, Lutheran East leads as the third quarter begins. And for the Titans, number two, Ashley Heisel makes her first appearance into the ballgame. Micaiah Herman, 23, three is Nay Bohannon setting the screen. 12, Nicole Ortiz, who leads everyone with nine in the game. And number 14, Imani Thomas. Bohannon up front, being closely guarded by Johnson. Has her pocket picked. And Johnson will come back the other way. Jump stop, way up and in. Uh, 30 to 18. Back comes Heisel. Picks up her dribble, gets it to Ortiz in the middle. Back to Ashley. Down the lane, off for Thomas. Back to Heisel, trapped. Over the head to Ortiz. Bohannon down to Herman. In the lane. 10 footer from Nikki Ortiz, and Nikki's got 11. Thank goodness Nikki's here tonight. Yes. She came to play. 30 to 20. Titans need to get a stop or two. There's a three ball on the way back rimmed, run down by Kirksey, number one, down to the side. Layup, no. Thomas with the rebound for the Titans, off to Heisel. Heisel, the runner, knocked away and then taken by Kirksey, and she's going to lead Johnson out ahead of everyone. Lay up, up, and in. Uh, she leaked out. Jasmine Johnson with eight. Another lazy pass almost taken away. Bohannon with it. Back to Heisel. Crosses over down the lane. Pass off to Ortiz. 15-foot set shot. No. Rebound up, no, but fouled. Herman's going to go back to the line. Actually, first time at the line for her. Eppinger on the ground might have got hit in the face. She's also going to get the foul, her first. She's got her thumb all taped up. She's got, I think she's bleeding from the lip. And they're going to get a substitution. Leah Walden, number three, in 
for the Titans. Mackenzie Barraclow was just at the scorer's table and now backed off. Makaya had a basket for two in the first half. First shot, no, front rim. Sights it again. Goes through her routine, throws the second one better. Three for her, Barraclow in. Replacing Herman, Barrick Lowe returns with a basket for two. 32-21. Pass off to Kirksey down the left side, spins into the lane. Johnson, no. Thomas runs down the rebound and ahead to Bohannon. Three on two if she hurries. She splits the defense, passes off to McKenzie Barrick Lowe, and they bring it back out. One hand to Barraclow, 18-footer, no, sure. runs down the rebound, back to Bohannon. 5.49. Lutheran East back to the 2-3 zone that worked. Well, maybe they're in man for a minute here. Nice pick by Barraclow, but she stumbled on the roll, and the blind pass is picked off all the way down. Henderson knocked to the ground by Bohannon, helps her up. Nay gets her first foul. And to the line, Alea Henderson with six in the game. She was the first half scoring leader for Lutheran East. No free throws yet. First one up, and that looked pretty good. Titans only three of eight from the line tonight. Lutheran East with that one, no, but they get the rebound. Knocked away and off the foot of Johnson. She was able to step in, nobody boxed her out, so the lead's back to 12, 33-21. Lutheran East in that 1-3-1 look. Her Heisel gets it across all by herself. Bohannon, Ortiz from the foul line, never got square. She just needed a little bit more on the pivot. Ball to the ground, it's gonna be a jump ball. It'll be off to uh, the Longhorns. 33-21. Joe, is there, is there a politically correct way to say Lady Longhorns? <laughs> <laughs> Knocked away. Henderson gets it to Johnson. Knocked away by Ortiz, picked up by Thomas. Ahead to Heisel. Heisel layup up, no rebound by Amani Thomas. She has really come to play. Down low, nice yeah, pass oh. from to Barrick Lowe, and Barrick Lowe got fouled. All right, all right, ladies got to finish here. Kira Bell's going to get the foul, her first, number two. And Barrick Lowe will go to the line. She had a basket for two in the first half. Good. Timeout, Lutheran East. It's a full timeout, Joe, so we're going to step away. 4.50 to go in the third quarter. 33-22, Lutheran East leads a Lorraine. Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom! I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. 33-22 as Mackenzie Barraclow looks to complete the pair. Back at rim, no. Rebound off to Walden for Lutheran East. Kicked ahead, run down by Kirksey at the water cooler, picks it up to Johnson. 
And back to Bell who throws three. Back rim and off the wire up top. It'll go over to the Titans. 4.36 to go in the third quarter. Lutheran East has been ahead all the way since we were tied at eight. They made it 13 to eight at the end of one and it's out to 11 now as Ortiz has it. Heisel, back to Ortiz in the corner. She's gonna throw three short. Rebound to Henderson. She comes back one on two, lays it up, no. Rebound knocked away by Heisel and it'll stay with Lutheran East. And Joe, you know, we talked a little bit in the first half about the Lutheran East attack. When Lutheran East is getting shots and Lorraine is struggling to get shots. And that's been the biggest difference. There's a it, Walden, no. Heisel in front to get the rebound. She'll bring it ahead nicely. Down the lane, all the way, running two-hander, no. Ortiz throws it back up and in. All right. Nicole Ortiz with 13 to lead everyone, 33-24. Kirksey from the foul line, glass oh. and good. Kirksey with seven. And back to an 11-point ball game. You don't come back without getting stops. Barrick Lowe from the corner now, into the lane. Off to Heisel, set shot. Nobody within 10 feet of her. And so oh, she'll nice. Three. Nice form Heisel there. Heisel with three. Leads down to eight. Now you got to get a stop, Lorraine. Right, and they did. Ortiz has it. Back to Bohannon, to Thomas. Front rim. Oh, you got to make that. Yep. Yeah, off the glass too hard. Henderson gets to the basket, and Barraclo had to foul her. Uh. There's a good foul. Yeah, we could have had that down to a two-point or a six-point. Uh, yeah. So Alea Henderson will go back to the line. One of two on the evening. Seven points in the game. Very balanced scoring for Lutheran East. First shot, swish. Substitution. Tyra Eppinger, who took one off the face a minute ago is back in. Got a splint on her right thumb as well. Brooklyn Ferguson replaces Nabo Hannon for Lorraine. Henderson back looking for the pair. That one used it all but got it. He has a big four point swing there, Jay. Yeah, she's got nine, the leads back to 10. Titans had it down to eight with a layup. I think that's what Joe is referring to. Heisel, elbow Thomas. Back to Heisel, into traffic, and got whacked in the act. Kind of a bailout there, bailout. So I don't think she did, <laughs> did have a real good look. Number 10, Henderson's gonna get to foul her second. I think it would take an act of Congress for someone to foul out of this game, as <laughs> there have been five fouls called this half and six the entire first half. First shot up and through. All right. Ashley has four. Number 20, Maya Winston, replaces Leah Walden for Lutheran East. Thirty-seven, First, that one's off the front of the rim. Rebound battle for it. Thomas gets it, lays it up. No. Rim, no. Amani Thomas back to Heisel. Heisel into the lane, throws it up off the glass. No. And out comes Kirksey. Two more throws there. Joe yeah. cut it to seven. Knocked away by Thomas out of bounds. It'll be Lutheran East ball. Points just so hard to come by for the ladies from Lorraine. Kirksey gets it in up top to Henderson. Henderson has Ferguson on her. Down the lane comes Eppinger, back out. And then Kirksey with it to the baseline, 12 footer, no. Off of Thomas's hands, controlled by Bell, no. On the ground, Lutheran oh, East gets chances. another one. Third shot, that one's high. Whoa, Thomas came down with that one. Heisel. Convert here, ladies. On the run, no. But she ties up the rebounder and it'll be back to Lorraine. 
Ashley has got to, to work on either slowing up on the layup or jump stopping and giving herself a shot. But uh, as fast as she gets going, it's a very difficult shot. Ferguson for three. Good. Oh, yes. Brooklyn Ferguson with four now. Two possession game now, Jay. 37-31. Minute 40 to go in the third. All the way to the hoop, though. Henderson laid it up. No. Ferguson had a rebound, lost it. Eppinger throws it over one, but Kirksey runs it down. Loses the dribble, Ooh. picks it up. Eppinger back to Henderson. Barrick low there. Down low, Eppinger no on the layup, and Ferguson comes out with no. it, and she can fly too. She passes it off to Heisel. She'll throw three. Glass, no. Oh. no. Oh. Whistle. Off of Barrick low and out of bounds with a minute eight to go in the third. Bohannon in for Ortiz. Minute eight to go, 37-31. Right. as close as the Titans have been since the end of the first quarter. Makaya Herman in replacing Imani Thomas. Right. Ladies play some defense here. Titans get a little bit smaller. Lutheran East, that's Walden. Down low, knocked away and out of bounds off of Johnson. So a minute one to go, and the Titans will have another chance to cut into the lead. It's been as much as 12. It's six now. By my math, they've cut it in half. Heisel walks it up. Bohannon. Back cut by Heisel. Looks to get it up. Barraclough from 12. Yes! yes. Mackenzie Barraclough has... Five, 37, 33. Eppinger down the lane, running one-hander up. No! And then she touched it out of bounds. Eppinger, so it'll go back to the Titans. 26.9 to go in the third quarter. All right, you got to hold the ball here. You, you got to hold it. 26.9. You could take it to a, a two-point two going into the fourth quarter here. Yeah. And, and it, worst case, it's a four-point game. Heisel walking it up. This is as good a way as any to do that. She gets it across in nine seconds. Now she crosses into the lane, lost it, going down. Picked up there, and then Ferguson ends up with it. She goes up and she gets whacked. It's gonna be a common foul with seven seconds to go. It's not bad, there's enough time to get the ball in, do a reset, and get your last shot off. Foul is on Jasmine Johnson. She qualifies for what, in this game, is a hack. She's got three. I don't know how you, how you do that. The stack formation for the Titans, and then they break out of it and get it back to Herman. She knows the time. She crosses over, running one-hander, no off the back. So we've played three at Lorraine, 37 for the Titans, 33 for Lutheran East. Back with more after this. Stop texting and driving. It's not for you, for me. Back here at Lorraine, start of the fourth quarter, 37-33. Lutheran East by four, they were up 10 at the half. Titans did a good job cutting into it 
And they're keeping the heat on, and that one gets winged out of bounds, but it was knocked away by a Titan. Heisel, number two. Bohannon, three. Ferguson, four. Barrick Lowe, 22. And Herman, 23. For Lorraine. Layup oh, up too and nicely easy. done there by Dariah Kirksey. Very impressive little move along the baseline. Back to a six-point game. Heisel. Ferguson reverses, takes it into the middle, and kind of just dumped it into a crowd there. There's a whistle, and I think Ferguson's going to get the. Yeah. Ferguson's going to get called for the foul. Her second. It's three on the Lady Titans. In and back to Kirksey. On the fly around Ferguson, she's into the lane, veers off, got a 15-footer up off yeah. the glass and in for Johnson, who has 10 now and the lead's back to eight. Doesn't take long. Right, big possession here for the Titans. Herman has it knocked away, a little too casual, and Kirksey alertly poked it away, and she got smashed. It's, it's going to be referee's choice here. Kirksey's going to shoot two, whether it's on Ferguson or Herman. She might not shoot two as she's holding her knee. Tracy Men just coming out. She landed hard. Now, nobody has signaled the foul yet. Well, well, they tend to hurt, Jay. Why don't we take a quick time out? Well, let's do that, Joe. Okay, yeah. we'll be back with more after this. Every day, 22 veterans take their own lives. More than 600,000 suffer from traumatic stress. Sometimes the hurt is on the inside, but there is hope. This able veteran helps them truly come home. Our service dogs, combined with our trauma recovery program, help heal the wounds. Sometimes there are no words. There is only loyalty, friendship, and hope. Support us at disableveteran.org. Inspiring city and campus. Inspiring people. Inspiring creativity. Inspiring hands-on learning. Inspiring global experiences. Inspiring traditions. Be a Buckeye. Inspire. So at the line is Maya Winston replacing Dariah Kirksey. Her first shot is off the back and no. Kirksey was knocked to the ground. Micaiah Herman got the foul. She was helped off by trainer Tracy Menges and is being tended to on the end of the bench. Missed them both, but gets her own rebound and Lutheran East with an eight-point lead. Under seven minutes now. Titans look to trap, but they keep their space pretty well. Winston loses it to Barraclough. Ferguson with it crosses over into the middle. Got to come right here, ladies. Yep, this is almost a must. Backs off, goes back at it, gets it in there we go. to Herman, who lays it up and in with five. Well done. A couple of sophomores combining there. Now this is Henderson. Down the lane, up and no. Eppinger oh, gets her own rebound out. and Jeez. puts it back. Tyra Eppinger, she's got six all from rebounds. 43-35, back to an eight point game. Bohannon goes over to set a screen. And now this is Herman. Barraclough, down the lane, underhand layup, no, a little too hard. And back comes Eppinger on the run. Passes off in the corner to Henderson, running one-hander, no, but a, another offensive rebound. Three ball, no, Eppinger another rebound, back up top, and they'll back it out. This is Henderson, down the lane to Eppinger, no, tipped by Barrick Lowe and back comes Herman. 
Herman one-on-one on one. On one passes off to Heisel, returning yes. the favor of a moment ago. Heisel with six, and it's a six-point lead. Each team with four team fouls. So the one and one is far from in play with five minutes to go. Down the lane, spins in, layup up and in. That was a nice move there by Jasmine Johnson who has 12 points. And Coach Feldman wants a timeout. That'll get Ortiz and Thomas back into the ball game. And it's a full timeout, which gives me a chance once again to remind everyone in Lorraine that Lorraine City is sponsoring a tax amnesty through March 29th, 2019. So if you have, or you're either a resident or your business owes income tax to the city of Lorraine, file those returns and do so without uh, penalties. Nice chance to do a reset. <laughs> cityoflorraine.org is the website for further information. Lorraine Municipal Tax Division is at 605 West 4th Street, the old fire station right next to Veterans Park. So you can go to the website for information, but it is a good opportunity to set your mind at ease. Back to the game, 45-37 is our score. And Lorraine will have the ball following the Johnson layup. Lorraine cut it from 12 down to 4 to start the fourth quarter. It was 37-33. But then Lutheran East came out and got the first two baskets of the fourth quarter. And it's been back and forth at eight points since. This is Ashley Heisel. Splitting a trap, but losing the ball. And Henderson comes back all the way up. No, but another offensive rebound for Eppinger. Back. Oh, a travel. That's yep. a travel. Joe had it first. Referee Bruce Hill. 4.36 to go. Heisel picked up the dribble, gets it to Bohannon. Back to Heisel. In the middle to Ortiz. She's surrounded, gets it back to Heisel. Got to look opposite. Wayne's had a lot of uh, trouble with that uh, half-court trap now, all the, evening. The, the idea of the pick and roll is a good thing. It's just starting up too high. It's too far of a roll. Bohannon down the lane scoops it up. No. Henderson did a nice job there cutting the baseline. Eppinger blocked oh, nice by block. Barraclow. And then Ortiz saves it to McKenzie. Back to Heisel. Hesitation dribble. And then she's going to get... A foul on Aliyah Henderson. It's going to be a common foul, but it is her third. So it'll be the Titan ball on the inbound. Heisel will go to throw it in. Titan set up in a box formation. Thomas, Ortiz, Heisel. Heisel trying to get, Thomas was trying to get out and set a screen. Heisel behind it, tries to split, lay up short. Rebound by Anderson, she's getting the business. So, I'm not sure if it's 14 or two, but it was definitely a foul. We may get into one and one, Jay. Yeah, we Each might. team with uh, five fouls here in the second half. Heisel with the first. Foul, knocked away by Bohannon, but out of bounds on the inbound, 3.39 to go. Points have been tough to come by, so there's got to be a little bit of a sense of urgency. Substitution now, Leah Walden in, replacing Winston. Titans. Eppinger comes up to get it and throws it length of the court to Henderson, forces her way in. Missed the shot, but going to get the foul. And it's on Amani Thomas. It's going to be her first. But it's going to send Alea Henderson back to the line where she's three of four in the half for her nine points. One of the problems, when you press, nobody can be behind their man when you're in this 
type of an urgent situation there, and that long pass was just too easy for a couple of reasons. There was no pressure on the ball, and then the defense was between the man and the basket rather than the ball. Thomas with a nice board on the second shot back to Bohannon. Bohannon down to the baseline, runner, no. Thomas goes and gets it. Gets it to Barraclo, back to Heisel. Heisel down the lane, off to Thomas who lays it up and in. Nice job by Ashley. Imani Thomas with six, and the lead is seven. Again, Eppinger with Ortiz. Down the lane, scoop shot, no, but a rebound to Henderson, and then she got fouled. Back to the line. Or that's Johnson, excuse me. Yeah, I'm surprised, surprised Luther and East isn't trying to burn some clock here with 2.58 to go. They're, they're up by seven, that's three possessions, and. Yes. Well, they're getting such easy access off the press break to the basket. And, you know, I, you've got to know the skill level of your team, and it's very difficult to burn too much clock unless you work on it. Ortiz gets the rebound on the second miss, gets it smacked back at her. Again over the head, oh. and Thomas gets somebody cut in front of her whistle. That's going to be a travel. Break for the Titans. So they step, Luther and East steps up the pressure. This is just to buy time. Into the middle to Nicole Ortiz. She's into the lane, running one-hander, no, but she got whacked. <laughs> Foul is on Johnson, who has four. 2.38 to go. Titans really need to score with the clock stopped. First one, good. That's a big point. Yeah, Ortiz with 14 now. Second one, oh, round and out. Get the Barrett rebound. Barraclough fighting no. for the board, but controlled by Johnson. And then Thomas fouls her again. One and one. Not a bad foul at two and a half minutes except we're putting the best foul shooter on the line yet again. And you're 80 feet away from the uh, basket. So Henderson will go to the line, one in the bonus. She is four of six on the half and the game. Well, this is Johnson, excuse me, where she just missed a pair and she missed another. So Johnson, go, oh, of three, that's not a bad person to foul. Barrick low, double dribbled. Oh. She was going to pick it up, and Heisel wasn't looking, so she ended up dribble, double dribbling. Coach Feldman wants to talk things over with 2.25 to go. I think that's a good timeout. Okay. Going to take a 30-second timeout. Anyway, time to talk about the Sports Hall of Fame I one more time? I was just going to say, the Lorraine Sports Hall of Fame annual steak fry fundraiser is Sunday, March 3rd, 2019. 4 to 7 p.m. at the Amherst Eagle, 1161 Mile and Avenue in Amherst. Cost is $25 per ticket, which includes dinner and $5 worth of tickets to a 50-50 raffle. They will also have basket raffles and extra 50-50 tickets available. The athletic department at Lorraine High has tickets available. You can call Brian Corey or his secretary, Marnie, and they will take care of you, or... You may contact Bambi Dillon at 989-6539. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Tom Bauer. We uh, said I'd mention it in the second half. He's been, uh, he came in and uh, we've the last couple days been building uh, risers for the studio. Very nice. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, you know, we've been in here for a couple years now and I, th I think we're to the point now where we finally have the studio done uh, well, very good. soon. So we finished up the, the smaller riser for the uh, student new set, and then we're going to work on the big one for, like, um, sports scene, focus, and some of the oh, other shows cool. we want to do. So, okay. yeah. So it's uh, very good. We'll post those pictures up on uh, Facebook here soon. 2.25 to go as Lutheran East gets it in. 
And this is Jasmine Johnson. Goes around Thomas. Henderson. Back to Johnson. Johnson down the lane against Thomas. Layup in. Oh. Backbreaker. Yeah. They got, got the bounce we haven't been getting all night. 48-40. Bohannon. Cut off by Eppinger. Turns it over. But a break as Eppinger's first dribble ended up on the sideline. Two minutes in a, in a tick to go, 48-40. Must score time for Lorraine. And it's into Heisel. That was like a soccer throw in. <laughs> it was. Bohannon. She gets double teamed on the pick and Heisel has it. She turns. Taking a little too long here. Heisel down the lane, off to Thomas. One dribble, turn around, no, too long. Rebound to Walden, and then back comes Lutheran East. That's going to be out of bounds to Lorraine, but burning 32 seconds there since the timeout. Minute 29 to go now, 48-40. A little more uh, sense of urgency here for the ladies. Ahead to Amani Thomas, layup up and in. Amani's got eight. And Titans will see they weren't matched up. Whistle timeout uh -huh. Lutheran East with a minute 16 to go. One of the things you have to do when you're trying to come from behind is when the ball goes through the net, you better have your eyes in the chest of the player you're guarding. And now Brooklyn Ferguson, just for quickness, is going to come back in defensively for Lorraine. 48-42, the Titans were down by 10, 28-18 at the half. Cut it uh, to 37-33 on a 15-9 third quarter, but with a four point deficit, Lutheran East was able to come out and knock the first two shots of the quarter down, and Titans have been battling from that eight point hole Yeah, it seems like it's been six, eight, six, yeah. eight, six, eight, yeah. So that's where we stand. The first game, Lutheran East, beat Lorraine at Lutheran East, 63-52, an 11-point margin. Now, some would tell you that home court's three points. So there's that eight that gets us back to those eight. But uh, Coach Feldman needs a steal. And that was what the timeout was for. Each team left with one. Lutheran East will have, be on the sidelines in the backcourt. They are in the one and one. 24 ten, ten, Tanisha Yenos, but Ferguson gets the inbound pass, gets cut off and has it knocked away out of bounds by Johnson. Titans have been trying to force the issue down the sideline all night. And have been much more effective getting it into the middle of the court. Brooklyn Ferguson. She'll take it against Walden, into trouble. Back to Bohannon, Bohannon down the lane. 10-footer, front rims it. Oh. Rebound, Eppinger had it and gets it to Johnson. Back comes Lutheran East, Titans not matched up. But confusion, Ferguson, step back, glass in. Brooklyn Ferguson with six, hey, timeout. Four, four points, Jay. Okay, now Feldman, Coach Feldman got a timeout there. He's down to one. I no, think. he's down to none. That's, that was his last? That was his last oh, timeout. I don't know if I would have done that. Which means, <laughs> well, you've got, a, you've got a foul Yes. at this point, but now you can't do both because Well, 48-44. They have eight fouls, so one more for the one and one, and then you're in double bonus. Well, but you, you just used your last one to stop the clock with the ball out of bounds. Lutheran East needs, er, has the ability to run the baseline here. Now, we talked about players getting matched up. The one thing you can do coming out of a timeout is get matched up. But, you know, this becomes almost must-steal time for Lorraine. We'll see they're drawing something up on the press. Now, again, what you've got to be careful of is you've got to be between your man and the ball but you don't want to get beat long, so you have to be fine making sure you can see your man, and if they take off, you've got to go with them. 
That's about as quick a lineup as there is. Two is Heisel. Four, Ferguson. Three, Bohan. And 23, Herman. Not and a whole lot of light, but, uh, the height, but they got the speed. Right. Now they'll try to double team. And they struggled getting it in. Knocked away by Ferguson, but controlled by Eppinger. All the way down the lane, laid it up in and fouled. Oh. That yeah. ought to do it. Yeah. Foul is on Bohannon for what that's worth. But the six, the, the layup is what was a killer. Yeah. Still a big point here. Right now it's a six point uh, ball game, so that's two possessions. Uh, this foul shot, right. if made, will make it seven. Mathematically speaking, you are correct, sir. That foul shot was tremendously long, but knocked out of bounds by Herman. And there was the lack of size for Lorraine coming into play on the uh, missed free throw. Knocked away, and Heisel stole the ball. Knocked away from her, and it'll go to Lorraine. 35.8. Is that the score correct, Jay? It's save it no. A, I mean, I'll take it. I will too, but I <laughs> swear it's 48-42. That's what I thought as well, but uh, scoreboard says 48-44 right now. Inbounds to Heisel. Well, if, it's, if it is 40, it's there. Kaya Herman. It says 48-46. So I, I'm stunned. I am too. Eppinger, length of the court, scooped no. Rebound off to Janos with 10 seconds. Down the lane, throws up a 10-footer short. Had her hand on the rebound. Whistle with two sec 1.8 to go. There's a foul. Double bonus here. Huge free throws because if the scoreboard Joe, is correct. you know correct, what it is, according to my score sheet. Okay, they, they must have been slow. They must putting, have uh, missed something back whenever. So it is. It's a two-point game. With 1.8. Well, yeah, no timeouts either. So this is going to be almost, Johnson almost impossible. Johnson, one and one. That figured. 0-3 oh, oh, on the... Second half and then knocks down the first one. Now that's a good play putting somebody up for Lutheran East. I don't know that anybody's got enough strength to get it there if she misses. That yeah, that'll that'll do it. Pass was off for Herman and it knocked away by Henderson. It'll clock will run out at 50 to 46. Wow. So they played them even in the fourth quarter after cutting it to four at the end of three, but the first half deficit of 28-18 undoes the Titans' comeback effort today, and I believe Lutheran East will go to 10-8 and eight on the season, and I think they will probably clinch second, second place. place in the LEL ahead of Lorraine. For Lorraine on the evening, Ashley Heisel played the second half, had a one, a two, and a three for six. And Brooklyn Ferguson in both halves had a one, a two, and a three for six. Amani Thomas had two baskets in each half for eight. Mackenzie Barricklow had two baskets, one, a two at the line, five. And Micaiah Herman had seven on three hoops and one, a two at the line. Leading the Titans with... 14, it was Nicole Ortiz. But when you add it all up, it comes out 50 to 46 Lutheran East. So the Titans dropped to 10 and 8 on the season. And we'll look to finish the season strong and point ahead to that first tournament game at Midview. We now know the, the location. We'll verify the time and get it on the website. But uh, for Joe Bach, who got us on the air and kept us there, this is Jay Ferguson reminding everyone it is a great time to be a Titan. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV20, WLCS.